What's up guys, Mystic Extreme here and welcome to Shortest Trip to Earth. It's an early release game and I'm going to be putting the link in the description below in order for you to find the game on Game Chalt. Also, they've got an Indiegogo going right now so you can contribute to the game. Alright, we're going to start a game. Close the star. Malfunctionary, our ship's warp drive landed us thousands of light years away from home. Little fuel, little resources. Our only option was to accelerate towards the closest star using conventional FTL engines. Don't ask me what FTL is because I don't know. 15 years later. Sound control? Oh, that's so much better. Okay. Whoa. Captain, I've defreezed our entire crew. I've assigned all of them to operate different ship modules. You might want to review this later. Okay. What? Okay, so I get to tell them what to do. This needs power. It looks like. It looks like it's off. Industrial laser, tiger fish missile platform, and Francisco land. Whoa! I've completely calculated the shortest route back to Earth. The journey goes through 10 sectors of uncharted space. This means you need to find more fuel and other resources along the way to stay alive. If possible, explore every star system to maximize your survival chances. Okay, sounds good. Would you like to see the overview of basic controls? Actually, yes I would, because this can be definitely confusing. Alright, let's go to Anaras 2. How do we... How do I go? Oh, that's how I go. Ananas 2, a thin layer of harvestable fuel detected in the planet's atmosphere. Estimated risk of accidents during orbital operations is below average. Let's harvest. Let's get some fuel! Atmospheric activity starts to intensify during the mining process, threatening to turn into a full-scale planet-wide mega storm. The crew is quickly recalled into the ship, but our mining equipment is still in the atmosphere. Abort the operation. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. I don't have that many synthetics. Let's pull the pull the stuff out and leave. And let's try it again. Okay. Can we try it again? No no. Is that what I'm getting from this? Okay, so we got another one. Unknown objects. Let's not go to those. So I have a feeling. That they are going to be. Something we got to fight. <laughs> Significant amount of fuel. Let's harvest it. Harvesting fuel? Am I actually? There's been an accident. During the fuel harvesting process, a massive electrical storm appeared, frying equipment and damaging our ship. Bodge. During the operation, we discovered a ship carcass orbiting the outer atmosphere of the gas giant. I do not currently want to read more about resources. Thank you. Let's scavenge it. Scavenging operation completed. The wreckage was thousands of years old, judging by the erosion marks. No accidents reported. I did get some metals. Yes. That's great to hear. I don't know if we should try... Ananas 2 again. Let's give it a shot. Does it mean that storm thing was a freak? 
accident, right? Right? No? Okay, fine. Oh, gosh. Unknown objects. Organic slow. Bunch of dead bodies drifting in space, judging from their uniforms. It's safe to assume they are crew of a single ship. We collected the bodies and put them through the traditional recycling ritual. And we got some organics. And some synthetics. That's kind of gross. Mothership AI keeps 100 praying mantises as pets. Mothership AI plays improvised classical music to the crew. The crew appreciates. There's something over here. I want to find out what that is. It's a planet with an atmosphere, so we can probably get other stuff there. Scanning from orbit. The ecosystem on this planet seems to be a very young one. The soil does not have much nutrients and supports only moss and small plants in a couple of patches on the planet. We could harvest some organics from here, but there is no way to do it ecologically. Let's re let's research only. You leave the unique ecosystem of this planet untouched. Scientific samples give us valuable insights into origins of early life. That's cool to know. 50 Xeno data and one fate point. It's gonna be useful. That is all there is here. Warp! Warp to Ook! Wait, is that my ship? Ship carcass. It's upsetting. Uh, organics are low. Let's go to that plant. Oh, investigating. Ship carcass. Carcass is some kind of fuel tanker looted to the bones. Most likely work with pirates. The remaining metals and synthetics of the ship frame were too cheap to justify looting even by pirates. However, a small cloud of leaked star fuel has been detected nearby. Let's collect the fuel. I will take that fuel. Let's keep the most of the fuel floating nearby. Plus 41 fuel. That's useful. I was worried that that, space, that uh, ship carcass was our ship. Ook 9. The planet is beautiful, but lacks any value for us. Ooh, that's not happy. And I'm sure this is going to be pretty useless. Yep. Alright, let's prepare to warp again! Let's go to Aeon. I have enough fuel for this jump. Lifeless planet. Let's go to the lifeless planet. Access to this mining plan is restricted to Emperor Banks for authorized vehicles. Dang. Alright, let's... Um... Leave. Oh. Hmm. It's 20 explosives. Like, I can fight this thing. Sure! Let's fight it from a safe distance. Send a swarm of cheaply printed long range missiles toward the planet. It seems the satellites are equipped with point defenses, picking up some of our missiles before they reach the targets. Mm, good to know. It will destroy some, but a number of them still remain intact. Fire more missiles! Cool, got it. Find the Emperor Banks mining site. Da da da. Mountain with a tunnel going in. Markings indicate it's an exotics mine. Our drones discovered the tunnel leads to a thick crystal security door within the tunnel. We need to get it befo open before proceeding. Oh gosh. Let's use energy cutters. Use some of the fuel. He successfully cut through the security orders. His mining was temporarily put on hold here and never resumed. There were several exposed seams of exotic minerals in our bots mined from there until they could no longer could. The operation was a big success. We've got seven exotics. 
It doesn't seem like a fair trade deal there, but it is what it is. Got to get some daggone organics because we got to eat. Got a gas giant. Let's get some fuel from the gas giant. Ooh, that's that's sad. Let's visit the mercenaries at the space station. This is death dance. Oh crap! For real? Turn it on and auto fire. What is this? Tigerfish missile platform. On and auto fire. On and auto fire. Okay, cool. We took care of it. Scavenging. Scavenging. Our utility drones and salvage all resources left on the battlefield. We did get some organics. So that's good to know. We got some more explosives, which we were out. Metals, fuel, and whatever this is. Modules. Cool. That's really interesting. We have now discovered everything. Oh. We actually have not gone to the space station docking. Just fought some pirates. Want to get some tips about train stations? No, not right now. Hi! You're an adventurous civilian? Oh, I can hire people. Okay, what about resources? What can I. I can buy. Some fuel. Can I buy some organics? What does that cost? What does that cost right there? I oh, that's my space money. <laughs> Zeno data. <laughs> ah. Fire. There. Should I get another person on it? That was nuts. Let's go to Autos. Actually, let's go to Vus. I'm understanding a little bit more of this. Volcanic planet. I'm not going to be able to get anything here at the volcanic planet. Planet? Am I? I bet I'm not. This planet features extreme temperatures and intense volcanic activity. Initial scans suggest possibility of valuable minerals. Prospect for mining opportunities? Sure. Five fuel? I can kind of afford that. We only found aesthetical value on this planet. One of your crew members coordinated prospector drones. Later wrote a metaphorical poem about her burning desire for more sex. <laughs> Others found it not metaphorical enough. Oh my gosh. That could be embarrassing. Vus 7. Lifeless planet. Oh. We detect a medium, single medium sized ship rapidly approaching tactical vessel. Have you heard of the slavers? They've got two ships nearby. I can make them go away for a few exotics. It's a good thing I found some freaking exotics. I am not trying to do that. A wise choice, traveler. Okay. Not trying to, not trying to fight the slavers off. 
There is a commercial ship service station on this planet. The local business negotiation AI, rather crude one, states that the mechanics cannot offer any guarantees because they are using exclusively recycled materials. Apparently, the service includes free food. <laughs> um, let's hire the service. Is this a thing? Locals went through all the junk found in your yard, dragging useful parts next to the mothership. Numerous workers of varied species buzzed around the ship, mostly working manually. After a few days, we ran in and announced they have done all they can. Give me more hit points and organics. Do you want to hire another round of ship repair services? No. No, thank you. Okay, that was only two. This is something. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's another planet. It's got an atmosphere. Gas Giant has plenty of harvestable fuel elements in its atmosphere. General conditions are ideal for orbital mining. Let's harvest that. So we approach the Gas Giant, we find a derelict research satellite, and scientific weather data shows the atmosphere of the planet can sometimes suddenly produce incredibly violent and dangerous megastorms. We scrap the satellite. <laughs> Although it's good to know. Please let me get the good stuff. Atmosphere activity soon starts to intensify, threatening to turn into a mega storm. Let's let's keep harvesting. I want that fuel this time. Hoo wee! We got it. Let's check out some of this stuff. Heaters four. Fuel is low. Urgh. Investigate it. Oh, I could have gone to the desert planet first. We discover a primitive civilization, the Cthulhu Fats. These highly intelligent mammals seem to be hardworking and ethical. Extensive hidden observation provides much research data, but also an understanding that there is somebody regularly attacking them. We decide to contact the locals. Ooh. The locals call themselves the Cthulhu, Cthulhu fans. They look like Cthulhu faces. These highly intelligent mammals are hardworking and highly ethical. After meeting with our diplomats, they ask our help. There's a group of alien pirates on the planet who regularly raid the Cthulhu fans. The pirates are in underground caves and can only be attacked in close combat. Let's attack the pirates. After heavy fighting with pirates not from this world, our operatives are able to neutralize the thugs with no losses, thanks to our superior armor and weaponry. The brigands had collected quite a stash of resources over the years. The Cthulhu fans offer us a mountain of food to express their gratitude. Yes! We saved a civilization! Let's go to the exit warp gate because then I can at least say... We've gotten through. This sector is quarantined by the Emperor Banks Empire. Access to exit warp gate for all non-imperial actors denied until further notice. Non-imperial actors remaining in this area will be terminated. Are you freaking? You know what? No, no. I need that warp gate, dude. You don't understand. Not good. My ship's gonna die. I'm gonna die. So you're escaping by using the warp drive. I will consider it. I don't have and we're all dead oh 
The mothership has been destroyed. Some of your crew, including the captain, might have made it to escape pods and cryo-freeze themselves, but their fate remains a mystery. They might have been captured by hostiles or later discovered and picked up by passing friendly ships. The causality waves they introduced into the web of fate will continue to affect the future and the reality as a whole, surpassing space and time. All right. That was... That was pretty cool. And that was just, you know, kind of a demo of the whole thing. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe because I'm going to keep making videos. I'd love to have you along for the ride. Don't forget to check in the description below for the link to the game so you can play it yourself. Let me know how you do in the comment section below. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.